Since 2010, I've worked with several thousand entrepreneurs. We develop entrepreneurs to stand out, scale up, and make a positive impact in the world, make a dent in the universe. The entrepreneur journey is way more predictable than you think. It starts out with a concept phase. We go into the wilderness. We then employ that first small team, that boutique phase. A lot of people these days are building lifestyle boutiques. Three to 12 people, high revenue per employee, profitable. Some people are a bit daring, and they say, I want to build a performance business. I want to have 40 or 50 plus employees, I want to tackle bigger problems and bigger issues, which means they've got to cross this desert. We have this idea around capacity versus demand, and we have to get this in balance. The perfect scenario, 100 people want to buy, we've got capacity to sell uh, 10, and this creates a scenario where profit is tolerated. Now the marketplace only ever tolerates profit. I see four really big trends coming along. Now in every industry there are these key people of influence. Their names come up in conversation, they attract more opportunity, they earn more money and they have more fun. I ended up writing a book about this called Become a Key Person of Influence. I outlined five key things that make you a key person of influence in your industry. Pitching ideas and pitching a big vision creating published content like books, blogs and articles, improving the product and creating something superior in the marketplace that gets a great outcome, raising your profile in traditional and social media, doing joint ventures and partnerships with other people who can take you up to the next level. So what we're most inspired by is these entrepreneurial solutions that kind of take off and, and change the world in positive ways. We want the entrepreneurial minds to be focused on the world's most meaningful problems. You know, I'm asking all these questions about this mountain over on the horizon. And the guy just turns to me and puts his hand on my shoulder and says, Daniel, why don't you appreciate the mountain you're on? <laughs> why don't you write your own book? Why don't you release your own stuff? Why don't you stop for a moment and realize just how valuable your story is, your examples are, your, you know, the inspiration you could have for others, the videos you could make, the stuff you could be doing. Why don't you move from a place of consumption to a place of creation? But it all starts, really all starts when you slow down and appreciate the amount of value that you're on. Thank you very much. You've been the best audience I've had all day.